Good morning, everybody. It's great to see you all here back again this morning, helping us kick off the second day of our conference. Um, I got a chance to preview some of the presentations this morning. I can tell you made the right decision to be here. Uh, this is definitely the place to be for Naja Talks this morning, and that is hashtag Naja Talks. <laughs> um, since this is the start of a new day, um, I'll take a quick moment to introduce myself and then, of course, the speakers, too. Um, and I also know we have some new arrivals. My name is Mary Huditz. I'm the president of the Native American Journalists Association, and I am a member of the Crow Tribe in Montana. I'm also thrilled to be here with all of you. It really means so much to see so many talented Native journalists and broadcasters in the halls of this conference and in this room right now. There are 310 of us here this weekend and counting. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is our highest attendance figure in years, um, and, it's hap and our growth is happening because of you all. I, I know Naja knows, as well as our partners, uh, Native Public Media and Vision Maker Media, that you are all here out of a commitment to your own careers and a commitment to engage with other journalists and give back to our vibrant community. And I can't stress that enough over this weekend. This particular event for Naja specifically marks our 30th annual conference. And I know, as well as many of you in the room, that this is not an organization that can sustain itself on autopilot. It takes vigilance and dedication and vision. And it's amazing that this all has taken place continuously for three decades for the good of Indian country, starting with Tim Gallego, and going from one, from one board to another and one president to the next. And I also believe that NAJA exists for the good of the news industry, too. In the US, NAJA is the bridge between the industry and our Native people and our communities, and I believe it is essential. This morning, our NAJA Talks is all about vision, and we'll touch on the essential nature of who we are and what we do and the questions we need to ask ourselves. It also look at thoughts for the future. And the presentation offers all of us a chance to collectively think about solutions together. Our speakers are Mark Trehant, Patty Talahangva, Karen Lincoln Michelle, and Duncan McHugh. They'll lead us in exploring key topics that fall nothing short of asking how we are currently being represented in the media, what does it take for our major issues to get the attention they deserve, and how do we ensure stronger coverage among Native and non-Native journalists. And how do we make sure we are counted? Because we certainly know we count. I want to thank our speakers in advance. Mark, Patty, and Karen, as many of you know, are all past presidents of NAJA. Duncan is a phenomenal First Nations journalist based in Vancouver, where he works for the CBC. Duncan, thank you for joining us. Very happy to have you here. Also, thank you to FNX, First Nations Experience, is doing great things, and they're growing too. Um, they'll be filming, filming this event today, and the talks will be available soon after the presentations have ended. If you could, though, please engage in the discussion via social media, but put your devices and phones on silence. Um, given that we are videoing, we want to make sure it's, well, we'll, we'll have, a, we're ensured to have a great experience here. We want to make sure once these are shared, um, the rest of the world gets to enjoy the presentations as well. Uh, no flash either, please. This goes. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Um, there'll be opportunity for questions and answers once the presentations have ended, so please stick around for that um, and enjoy, enjoy the Naja Talks. Thanks. <laughs> 